taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. Yeah, so yeah, and we have one more thing. Obviously, we have a poll topic, which I'll let my man P uh, uh, take the lead on. P, it's on you. What's good, y'all? You know what I'm saying? We back again. We back at it with the polls. So, Close you know, out. Ring Gang got the best polls. So, you know, got to hit you with another one. Uh, this one is an interesting one. And it's, which was the bigger robbery? Was it Oscar De La Hoya versus Felix Sturm? Or Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin, number one. Uh, you know, there's 24 votes so far. Go vote. You know what I'm saying? Go vote. And 24 votes and 71% said De La Hoya Sturm was the bigger robbery. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. I mean, I think both fights are, are, are robbery. Yeah, they both bad. <laughs> Yeah, the, but the Oscar one was really because, like I said, because around the time Oscar Sturm happened, like they they, they they were trying to set up the whole unification with him and, and B Hop, and yeah, you know, and that's what made it more like like it was like blatant in obvious. your face, like haha, we don't care because we have bigger plans, so <laughs> screw you. Right, and what makes it, it and what makes the robbery more even messed up is if you if you watch boxing back in the in the nineties and the two thousands and stuff like that. Germany had a horrible reputation for, for boxing. Like, if you were not a German champion or you weren't signed to a German promoter and you actually brought your belt over there and stuff like that, it was hell beating a German fighter on the cards. Like, you had to knock him out. Like, Steve Cunningham had to do this shit. Um, fucking, uh, yeah, Steve Cut and like, Virgil Hill had to do this shit. Like, you know, or uh, he was like one of the rare ones to actually beat a German champion in his prime, you know, in Germany. You know, it, it, mm. like German, the German used to be robbing people blind, and that's the reason why I don't want to see no damn Sven, Sven Aki in the Hall of Fame. Fuck it. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's like Germany used to be horrible with these decisions. And the fact that this fight took place in Germany, and Sturm was the German fighter, and he got robbed. Nah, they didn't fight in no fucking Germany, nigga. In Germany. Fuck out of here. You think Dale Hoy is fighting in fucking Germany? It was in um, Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Because remember, um, Bernard Hopkins and Robert Hall 15 was the, the co main. Right, right. I, thought, I always thought that fight was in Germany. I mean, Rich, Richard Hall. Was, is, is Robert Hall. Uh, not Richard Hall fought Roy Jones. It's, Robert yeah. Allen? I don't know. Robert Allen, that's who it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was, the, that, was the, that was the middle of that whole three piece shit. Yeah, I'm Robert Allen and their damn trilogy. Oh. Yeah, the yeah. fucking trilogies. Yeah, trilogy, yeah. For some reason, but yeah. It was, I was like, but yeah, the German fighter got robbed. For some, I always thought that fight was in Germany for some reason. Hell nah, like ain't no way. <laughs> you know, but either way, you know, Delahoya did not, Oscar did not win that damn fight. Like, not like it wasn't. I mean, it was definitely not. You know, I mean, I remember sure. the whole word was um. We now know what a winky, De La, a winky Delahoya fight would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a guy flailing at a turtle in between getting his head knocked off with jabs. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty much, yeah, it, 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 like I said, the fight was like, it was just, Oscar looked physically poor that fight. Like, he really, he, he didn't look good. And Sturm, it, uh, I, I say, if Sturm actually fought, like, to actually try to knock out Oscar, like, try to. He probably, yeah, I mean, it probably, the fuck, it, like, he probably would have gotten the decision. That's see, that's the frustrating part. Like, like, like Canelo had. Like, if you if you compare them, how each guy lost. Canelo really lost on the whole inactivity and ring general shit. Like, the punches he did throw were decent, and he landed some good shots on Golovkin, no doubt. Which is too sporadic. He gave up too much ground. And he never really had control of the fight. Mm -hmm. And he was running from the fight. De La Hoya, on the other hand, you know, and you could say both weren't in shape. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, cause that's the first fight that you ever seen Canelo move that much. Mm -hmm. And he had his knee tape. So, like, if, look, if your knee truly hurts, you're not going to move, like, that much. You're going to be James Tony in that bitch. You're going to be Broner in that motherfucker. Right, he'll be right in the pocket. So that lets you—that's that's telling. 
and he, he could have burned himself out a little bit too with De La Hoya. Same type of attack, getting hit with jabs and, and one twos every now and then. But De La Hoya wasn't moving. He was more trying to slip, cover up, and then find his rhythm and, and throw combinations. Like he was trying to outwork Sturm and Spurts. Basically doing what Canelo does, but without the um, the accuracy or the or the power. Yeah. And he got more beat up for it because he's not moving. And De La Hoya, you know, his defense is solid, but he's not known to be, you know, to be crazy with it with the head movement and all that shit. And this is even with, you know, having Floyd as a trainer at one time. So right. So so yeah, but I, I felt like De La Hoya fought harder as far as like. It's like he knew he had plot armor. So he was still trying to sell the fact that he was in the fight. Mm-hmm. Whereas Canelo was on some like, you know, fuck this, abandon ship, nigga. Like, get this jabbing motherfucker away from me. And he's darting all over the ring. And yeah. <laughs> trying to try to play possum on the ropes and shit. Like, so. Like, like technically, I do feel like the Den La Hoya fight. Yeah, he. <laughs> It feels like the bigger robbery, dude. I, I might, I might got, I have to say equal because I feel like if Sturm did more, he wins the fight, no question. Right. Where, where is down? Golovkin was never gonna knock Canelo out in that type of fight. No, he wasn't. Maybe a fifteen rounder. But not no 12 fight, not that type of fight. The, the, I don't think there's anything Golovkin could have done different in that fight. Like, that was just straight robbery. Like, stern robbery as well. But then it's like, <sighs> it's almost like a Bivol type of performance where, <laughs> mm-hmm. just imagine if Canelo would have fought like De La Hoya did against Stern, he probably gets the damn win in Triple G first fight. Right. Think about it. If he just sporadically trades with Golovkin without running and, st- and gets beat up by the jab in one twos and shit, he probably wins that fight. Mm-hmm. So it just it's just something to think about. And then another thing with the whole like people give it's like people pick and choose who they want to give credit to with a dominating jab. That's all people talked about in the Stern fight. Yeah. And, 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 was the dab that snapped Oscar's head back. <laughs> yeah, but remember the Golden Girls, and y- y- y'all know you know what we used to call the Golden Boy stands. Yeah, their whole argument was, oh, oh, yeah, but you can't, uh, 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 you can't win a fight with a jab. <laughs> yeah, with just the jab. <laughs> so it's like it's the same argument, but I don't know. It just seems like the damn. The, the argument was much louder with Triple G. For whatever reason, yeah, because they're like, oh, where, well, where's Triple G's power now? Oh, all he can do is jab. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. With Sturm, it was like, I mean, he don't need power. He's jabbing them. But with Triple yeah. G, it's like, well, I mean, um, he has all this power. Where's, why, why he just jabbing them? And it's like, and he did more than jab. Like, People act like he ain't let nothing else but a fucking jab in that fight. So I, I, I don't know. It just when you watch boxing long enough, you can see the cycles of jadedness. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's just weird. Like I said, people pick and pick. People will always pick and choose. Like depending on the, no matter what fight, like yes, so somebody can one fighter can use a jab, but another another fighter can't use a jab. Even though all fighters should be using jabs. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but at least, uh, I mean, honestly, truthfully, I, I mean, I thought, I mean, I mean, I thought it would be a lot closer or even fucking Canelo Triple G wanted you being in the lead. Because, like I say, I mean, by the hey, you know. Because, it was more recent. And, and yeah, I was, I was, I was, a, I was a little surprised. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Cause it's, like, surprised. Yeah, because it's over 70%. I'm like, oh, okay. So people, people really, people do remember that little robbery. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought yeah. it could have gone, I thought it could have gone either way. I, I thought it would be a little closer. 
I mean, the scores, I mean, the scores had, I think it was 115, 113 across the board or some shit like that. See, and, 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 and look, 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 look what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. With the whole De La Hoya, he, 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 all he did was just get beat up and just trade and try to exchange and, and, and hit gloves and forearms and occasional clean shots here and there. I think this Triple G Canelo was a draw. You're more inclined to go for the actual guy that got robbed, Rob. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I can well, see that. I can see that too. But damn, like, it's still a Rob's a. I mean, shit. I felt like Beltron got ro- uh, against Ricky Burns got robbed harder than both. Mm-hmm. Because he dropped the dude. <laughs> yeah, and broke his jaw. Broke his jaw and everything. Yeah. Like, like shit. Like, I feel like Crawford owed him thirty percent of his performance for his fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, this was. Uh... So yeah, like I mean, it, it, like I said, it was a good point. Like I was like, you know, it was just like you know, bringing up you know, Oscar. I mean, Oscar wasn't always so golden in his in his pro career. And of course, now obviously, you know, go, he's far from golden in his retirement years. <laughs> so, and in the, but, in the dualities, the two Mexican stars, right? <laughs> and, the, and the two, and the two boxers, and one of them ended up, you know, avoiding the other one. <laughs> yeah, the ones. I mean, I mean, were the Sturm and Triple G were stable mates, weren't they? Yeah. yeah, but Sturm ain't won. Sturm ain't won no parts of him. Ducked him. Oh. Ducked him. That was a com- that was a complete yeah, that duck. Was a complete duck. Yeah, Sturm ain't yeah. won no parts of Triple G. He ain't won his own medicine. He ain't want no jabs. Yeah, he didn't want no jabs. He didn't want to feel no type of power. It's that that in. <laughs> Oh man, so, so yeah. I think that's a wrap, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, to come to the end of our show tonight. So yeah, just a quick, uh, you know, quick final thoughts. Uh, Pilot, your final thought? Oh man, just glad to be back. Um, but you know, we're ready for next week of boxing. It's a good, you know, Showtime usually comes through with some with some fire. And um, you know, want to check us out at ringingradio.com. Um, you know, Twitter, YouTube. Instagram, Facebook, everything in between. Um, you know, at top, Apple, Spotify, and everything else. Man, so still looking. Absolutely. Yo, P, you, your final thoughts? Yeah, hey, you know, ho hum. Less than ho hum week of boxing. We just had one, you know, chicken shit turned to chicken salad fight. But I guess I'm, <laughs> not, I'm okay with chicken salad. So you know, next week should be a better week weekend of boxing. And other than that, you already know what it is. Ring Gang Radio all day, every day. So you know where to find us at. RingGangRadio.com, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know the vibes. Yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll go first. I'll let LB close out because, you know, that's the that, that, he's the main event. He's, the, he's getting the main event role today. You know, so, uh, yeah, you know, you definitely, you know, thank everyone that rocked with us today. You know, and obviously, that, that, you know, that have been showing more love to our videos like we love seeing all the comments and the engagements especially with that monster video y'all love that monster don't air to recap video i'll tell you man you know, <laughs> you know facts but, yeah it's, and then we're seeing you know our views and our hours going up man yeah keep doing that man keep watching you know, spread our videos man we got a lot we, we got a lot to talk about we got a lot in store for y'all you know like you know we, we need we, we need to bring more of our messages to the masses like y'all 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 help us out we need to do this <laughs> And Miss 702 said, my YouTube cousin, LB. <laughs> Shout out to Miss 702. Salute, yes, salute. Yes, cousin, cousin. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, man. Like, yeah, you know, it's ring game, man. We got the shit you want to need, man. We got more shit coming in store, you know. Definitely in the near future, man. Yeah, just keep, you know, just keep, you know, you know, just keep throwing our name out in your, in your social medias, man. Especially, you know, YouTube, man. Like, tell your friends about us so they can sell and we can all be friends, man. We do this shit for y'all, man. We love doing this shit. So yeah, man. I think that's my that's, that's pretty much my my final thoughts. So LB, you're the closer, bro. I'm more than the relief pitcher. I'm the closer. <laughs> Let's go, artist. It's over. <laughs> uh, nah, man. Just shout out to everybody who was um, you know rocking with us today. Uh, Henny Goslick, Lone Star, Seth, Steph. Uh, Thought I saw Rusty in there. Yeah, uh, he was. Out, he was in there. I saw Rusty. Uh, did I miss anybody? Lone Star stuff. Lone Star stuff. Seven o two. Seven o two. Henny Gosling. Rusty. Uh, yeah. Anyone else out there um, who's lurking? 
uh, you know, TikTok and uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all of that shit. Um, we dropping more artwork this week. Still grinding, still, you know, still the mission. Gonna be dropping the anime. About to work on that right after we jump off of this. Got to review some scenes and go over the soundtrack and do the little tweets and shit, boy. Like it's it's a lot of work with this shit. So I hope y'all enjoy it. It's gonna be about like maybe yes, sir. 20, 24 minutes, so so y'all can pull up and and enjoy that shit and make sure y'all share it because ain't nobody else got a podcast and they animating themselves and fighting in the air and throwing fireballs and lasers and that then. And then, you know, it's all in-house. Everybody's doing the voices, just the soundtrack, all that shit. So, you know, it's, Facts. You know, it's big, big, big things popping. You know, R.I.P. my nigga Rodney. You know, we got you. You know, the gun folk, the GoFundMe's out there. You know, we're going to make sure everything works. And, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, just keep rocking with us. And, and tell everyone. <laughs> that, you know how it go, man. Absolutely. The Ring Gang Radio. Yes, sir. Yeah, so for myself, Pat Scorpio, the only representer, for LB Shuttleworth, the God, the Go Artist, for King P, Bodega P, you know, for Conscious Pilot, and then also for our guest, you know, Big Dog Luki from Luki Boxing. Shout out for him for joining us. Salute, salute, Luki, Luki. Yeah, West you know, Coast. West Coast in the house. Yeah, you know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace. Peace.